Hey everyone, welcome back to the Overclocking World Championship Las Vegas 2017. I'm Trufman from Overclocking TV and this guy, this guy is awesome. He just won the first competition this year. Stepanzi. Hi buddy. Congrats man, congrats. That was uh, quite impressive, quite impressive there. So, uh, you just came off the uh, award ceremony. Uh, yep. How do you feel? That's your first one versus one? That's your first competition that you're actually winning in a uh, way? Oh yeah, and it was pretty crazy. <laughs> Very nervous to begin with. <laughs> If you told me yesterday that I'd win, I wouldn't believe anything. <laughs> I had a lot of issues. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, do you remember that you forgot to set some of the uh, XMP settings and some of the memory settings yesterday? Oh uh, Well, I also had a board issue, too. I think I killed the board because I used it earlier. So there's yeah. only one channel that actually works. <laughs> so uh, I was at least able to qualify. So ah, that's that all that guy. matters. I got a new board today and much better. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is the uh, the first overclocking competition of the year. Uh, that's going to be a long 2017 season. There's going to be a lot of, uh, of things going on. Uh, what as an overclocker uh, makes you feel to want to be part of this kind of, uh, of competition and event? Well, I think it, it's quite a fun stressful competition to be a part of it's actually probably i think the one-on-one -on -one setup is better than the regular let's get eight overclockers and just go all at one time this one kind of it gives it more of like a, a a feel between the two two people like a, like me and lucky noob it, it's just kind of fun it makes it more like you know, entertaining and then it i think it's more fun just like enjoyable to do it yourself too so i, I don't know i like i like the setup platform i I'll, You It's enjoy that. Pretty cool. <laughs> did you actually <laughs> did you actually train for that kind of format uh, up front at your place? No, actually, um, uh, we did in a, at my event when we had the the other event. Yeah, the PA that event. That's the that's the only time you tried. That's the only time I've tried. Yeah. Well, I think uh, when I went against Jesse, uh, B Boy Jazz, I think that helped me out tremendously to go against Noob. Um, <laughs> he's a good competitor, man. He has it down pat, and uh, to be honest. Is that why you you submitted a very strong score after he was setting some of the few, like trying to get in his mind to say like you stop, you were actually going up front, and no, I just came back right in and just kicked you with a decent score that is actually better than your last three scores. Well, I I I learned a lot throughout the day. Um, I since I had so many memory issues yesterday, I. I spent a lot of time this morning me messing with memory to get it all dialed in because basically yesterday I couldn't get anything dialed in. Um, and then I got basically got the... <laughs> <laughs> I basically got all the CPU stuff down pat. I can pretty much run it off the bat. I saw that he was kind of going like slowly with this stepping up. And I figured my only shot for me to win it is to go right for the glory, you know? Go for 6-1, then I would bump it to 6-2, then 6-3, 6-4, 6-5. And then I ended it... Pretty much the last score was on about 6-6 with 5-7 in core, on core. It was pretty good. I actually did a suicide run at 6-8, but I wasn't that, cold enough. So, so that was that run, the, the famous one at 6-8. Yes. Did, did, did yeah. you, do you think that if you spend more time than these only 30 minutes, uh, you would be able to run that 6.8? Probably, yeah, because I was uh, pretty low temps for what you could really normally do. So I, I think 6-8 is actually very possible. I got a little nervous because I forgot in the rules. I was like, wait a second. What if I kill the CPU? <laughs> Am I going to lose? <laughs> so I was kind of like, uh, maybe I'm not going to run 6-8. Maybe I will. I'm not sure yet. So <laughs> that, that, I just said, That would have been it. sad. That would have been sad just like 30 seconds before the end, just trying to yeah, to push your luck a little bit too much. That wouldn't have been good. But I always push my luck. That's just how I live. <laughs> <laughs> It's And true. <laughs> So, Tullius, do you have any question for Stepons, either you or the people on the live chat? If you guys have any question, that's the moment. He is the first uh, champion of the OCWC 2017 season. We are in Las Vegas, baby. And Vegas, baby. Obviously, what's here doesn't stay here right now. <laughs> Obviously <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Tullius, let me know if there is any question on the live chat that is uh, that people want to, to ask for Stepons. Um. What? Thank you very Not much. Really, <laughs> I have a question. Sure. Go for it, man. When do you, when are you standing for elections? 
<laughs> Very... Guys, guys, we say no politic in overclocking. There's already too much drama for it. Four years from now. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> 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 oh boy. So um so you, we talked a lot about the match between you and Lucky Noob. But your first match, how was that one uh, that one going with the B-boy? That one was very stressful because um I basically did the same same thing where I just kind of went right for it and I got a really good run in. But then I decided to uh tweak the OS a little bit. I set up uh diagnostics uh, uh diagnostic startup and when I reboot it It didn't exactly come back. <laughs> it just you just saw the little thing going, just waiting, waiting. You see the hard drive moon. I think it was like for 15 minutes. Was that the little thing? <laughs> I'm not gonna say that on this. <laughs> no, but it, it took me like 15 minutes to figure it out, and uh, I finally figured it out and actually posted another run that was better. So, I think just uh, doing that one with um, With B Boy, would made it made it much easier for me to to do it with Noob. So it pre it really did prepare me. So, do you think that uh, like the Indonesians, because you actually uh, end up in f in front of two of them, uh, do you think that Indonesians have a special way of benching that must maybe some other country doesn't have? Say that again. Um, do you think that the Indo Indonesian overclockers have a special way of benching, rather than some people from other countries like? People that just go brute force, or some people that go very step, very small, baby step by baby steps. Well, I don't. Alva, if you see him at a bunch of different competitions, he's just very, very focused. It's, it's kind of impressive, actually, really impressive, because you just watch him and it just, it just doesn't seem like anything affects him. And uh, and when you're doing a competition like this, you, I mean, you do one wrong thing and then you're like. You almost like freeze, and it's how you handle how you go through it to try to figure out how you're going to make it through. Because some of the issues, like I had did a load optimized default, I accidentally hit it, and, and I basically <laughs> had to put all my settings in again. So it was like, uh, it just it's really about your recovery. And you see with the Indonesians, man, and those guys are just so calm, cool, and collective. They're, it's like they're machines, man. They just go through and hammer everything. Now, speaking of uh, settings, um, there was a discussion going on during the commentaries that. People, you're not allowed to have any set profile on your board before you start. So the judge is coming to the board, erasing all the set, um, all the settings that you have, and and then you cannot, you can still use that after, but you cannot load any pre-made profile. And there was a discussion going on on should you just spend the first 30 seconds making a default profile that you can always fall back with even during these competitions. Is that something you will, you know, do? No, I do that every time. Actually, if you notice, I do set it, and that when I actually went to save it, bef the, the one, I basically hit load optimize the fault by mistake. And uh, yeah, I usually do that that way, just in case. Like you start, I always try to get a base that's always good enough, and then that way I can always revert back, and I know that works right from the beginning. And then from there, I always build upon it, and then maybe save another profile. But I always go set up a base and then go through. Like I think that's pretty much w what you have to do. Otherwise, if you're going to try to put in a 50 settings at one time, it's not going to quite work, you know. And it takes a lot of time, long time. Especially during these 30 minute matches, like with time limit like this, it's uh, oh. you no know, quite difficult. It's really brutal if you have one little issue. Um, I pretty much thought I was at it, at, out of it, when I was going against B-Boy. I mean. I had that one good run, and luckily that was pretty much all I needed. <laughs> but it was, it was very nerve-wracking. I thought I was pretty much done, but then I was like, okay, come on, let's stay cool and collective and try to figure this out, just not give up. So, I accidentally got, I pretty much ended up getting it all back in order and actually re improving my my stuff. So, pretty well, happy about it. That that was cool. Um, when you start the game, you have to to be like above. Uh, negative temperature, so you have to be in positives. Um, yeah, how do you uh, how do you handle that? You want to stay cl the closest to uh, like one or two degrees before starting, or you just go I just go full ambient with the very default settings, and I just go right back in when it starts. Well, it really depends on the pot you're using. Um, I know those guys were. I think B Boy was using the Venom, and then uh, was it a uh, uh, Lucky Noob was using the Gemini. So those are very fast spots. And I, I, I noticed from the, the first round with B-Boy, when I, I'm using the dark, and the dark is a great pot, but it can be very slow if, it, if you don't know how to work it properly. But so, it's still quite massive in a way, though. Oh, it's, it, I would not want to get quite it Quite massive. 
Dude, it's huge. It's such a. Yeah, I love the pun. I use it for everything. But uh, I was getting a little kind of nervous because I was uh, thinking, I'm like, okay, while I'm putting the profile in, I should be filling my pot too. So I'm like, uh, that's why the second one you noticed I kept on filling and filling right off the bat just to just to go because there's some cold settings that you don't really want to run on ambient. So you want to be at my like minus 50 and then you basically just pull down from there. But uh, you have to kind of get the massage the, the dark a little bit to get it really down there much quicker. So. Is that one of the reasons as well you were torching the pot, the torching the pot to make it uh, go lower faster? Yeah, if you if you notice that about around minus 70 when the the LN2 left the pot, I would torch it up, and then all of a sudden the, the pot just screams and goes down. So, I mean, it's just really how you use the pot and and how you torch it, and you can make it go much faster. It's just pretty much the initial from zero to 50 that takes a little bit longer, but it's not it's not going to kill you obviously from seeing how it won. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You were in the, in the final, uh, you were quite late into passing the first core. Yeah, that's when I had a couple issues. and uh, I, I, I kind of noticed that Lucky was uh, not going right for the off the bat. And and I've played with these CPUs uh, over the past couple days, and I've noticed that I, can, I know certain settings that pretty much go in every time. So instead of wasting time, because I already killed a lot of time, I just wanted to go higher right off the bat. So, and plus I want to kind of test a couple of things because I know right away if it's going to work and everything's set up correctly. So I basically just kept on pushing it. <laughs> yeah, keep on pushing. Keep, keep pushing. Keep pushing. <laughs> keep pushing. pushing. pushing, pushing. Um, let's talk a little bit about the qualifier now. Um, that format was more like the old way of doing things. Uh, a few hours, a few benchmark, and you can just bench them in any order you want. And that's it. I mean, uh, wh how was that going for you during the qualifier? Uh, not really well, actually. <laughs> Originally, I didn't think, uh, it's because of the memory. The memory is AFR memory, and I probably have not touched AFR memory in over a year. Probably a little bit over that. So, I'm, I'm so used to, like, the Samsung stuff that it's much different to go back to the AFR. And then, uh, I had so many issues yesterday where my, um, just such a problem I, I benched the board before at, an, at another demo and i think i might have gotten too cold and uh just uh, too much abusing it and it just had so many issues yesterday i'm surprised i qualified to be honest that's why i said uh, if you asked me or told me yesterday that i'd win and i just i'd laugh <laughs> well um and you say you love the one versus one so do you expect to do some other uh, world championship event to at least do more one versus one um, I would probably end up sticking to the one plus one. Um, I think we need a little bit more graphic card stuff in there, but um, you're a three D guy. Story. You're a three D you know? guy. I love three D, but the stuff going on right now with uh, companies limiting overclocking is not very good. So um, <laughs> I hope we can improve that in the future. And I think maybe three D benching, doing the one on one setup, would be really cool if we can hammer out a, a lot of the new logistics. You know. Sure. Let's work on that for the next few weeks. Yeah, it'll be cool. Just saying. Just <laughs> saying. Oh, sorry, just teasing. <laughs> uh, there was a question from, from the from the live the live chat. Um, uh, why? <laughs> there was a question from uh, Elkimek. Why would you damage your expensive hardware just for a few points or seconds? So this is referring to the 6.8 uh, suicide run that you were almost doing at the at the end. Well, I like to push my luck. That's basically what it is. Uh, I do it with everything. I, my motorcycle, I'll, I'll push it to the limit. Cars, I've blown motors. Every little last speed that you can get out of it, I pretty much try for. So, uh, I think it's worth it. I mean, I want to go for that high score. I mean, if you want to really push it to the limit, man, you got to not be afraid and just go for it. <laughs> so, out of the benchmark, uh, which one would you veto right away? When, uh, when you see oh, it. Oh, this is funny because uh, Lucky Noob and I were actually talking about this because he's been a killer at uh, 3D11 physics and that hasn't been a great one for me lately. So, uh, um, <laughs> lately? Lately? Hey, you I used to, on X99, long as has, well, I was pretty damn good with it. I don't know what happened. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I, I saw that he's been really killing at it and I'm like, if that comes up, I'm going to veto that right away. <laughs> but, and I know what he didn't want to do. He didn't want to do the, what was it, the X265 uh, or what was that benchmark? Yeah, uh, HW, but X265. Yeah. The encoding benchmark. No, yeah, because you got to tweak AVX, man. And that one, I, I, I don't know. 
I, I was great. I was happy that he actually vetoed that one because then I didn't have to use my veto because I was like, you know what? Please, I, I had a feeling he would veto it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to stay quiet. And sure enough, he vetoed that. And then the next one was uh, um, 8M. And I'm like, yeah, I'll take that because I've been doing 32M for a while over the past uh, several weeks. And even in the other competition I was in. So. Oh, that's uh, that was uh, in like interesting to know what we, what you would veto. Um, let's talk a little bit about the hardware before we end up. Um, the hardware you used was the Kabylex CPU, 7700K. Yep. Um, I guess you loved it so far because I mean we already talked about that one uh, outside of the live. But well, why why do you think it's is it's better than the Skylake one? Well, think about it. Like the the quality of the silicone is so much greater. I mean, what what do you not love about it? I mean, uh, uh, probably a regular overclocker, you you could probably set up for 5 gig on a, on a water setup, like, easily. I mean, oh, come on. <laughs> like, it, to try to find a sky like that good is, is like, damn near impossible. So, for for most KB to be able to, like, do very well is is quite a feat. I don't, I don't think many people really understand or appreciate, except for overclockers. Overclockers are... Uh, I'm pretty much thrilled about KB. I, I didn't realize that it would be so good because we've had others sometimes and they've come that are not so good. <laughs> They're actually worse. So to see this is to be so big is quite a, quite a feat. It's quite wow. impressive and I'm quite happy about it. It keeps overclocking alive, you know. Awesome. And uh, the motherboard, did you try that motherboard before? Um, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I tried it the other day for the first time. Um, I was benching at the Performance Matters event. Over in, uh, what was it the Palms? The Palms, the yeah. Intel event and the HW Bot event, which was really cool. Um, other than that, um, I probably played on C170 for two days, a day, if that. So I didn't really have much experience going in. And then, especially when you throw in this, uh, the Kings, or not Kings, in the uh, team group memory, it kind of <laughs> threw me for a loop. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. But everything was pretty solid. I mean, uh, with more BIOS being released and more stuff uh, getting fixed every day, it's going to be quite an impressive board. It's much better than the original Z170, I definitely say. So uh, that's uh, that's good to know. I mean, uh, if you have to sum up this event, well, you know, I mean, what would be, what would, what word would you be using? What board would I be using? What word? Say that again. So what ah, word that's the would French I... accent. What word would you be using to describe this event? This event? Epic. Epic. <laughs> Epic. Come on, you got USA and Vegas. Come on. <laughs> I love Tulis. Oh, okay. <laughs> you make me laugh every time we laugh, Tulis. <laughs> oh, my pleasure, bro. <laughs> totally my pleasure. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. So it's time to uh, it's time to pack up, guys. Uh, thank you very much for being here with us all this uh, this today, and for the uh, OCWC. We're gonna see you guys for the next few events. Uh, the stream for the um, uh, Brazil event is not confirmed yet. Uh, we're still working on it, uh, just to make sure that uh, we can do something decent from there as well. Uh, but be sure that uh, all the competitions upcoming will be streamed. And of course, we're going to always have fun to do it with uh, with you guys on live stream. I would like to give a big shout out to you guys on the live chat. Um, you know, asking questions, discussing, even though trolling sometimes. It's always uh, you know, always fun. Uh, don't forget that if you like what you're seeing and you're brand new here, don't forget to follow us here on Twitch. Uh, all the replay of the matches will be available on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash overclocking TV. I would like to give a a big thank you to Tullius and Bildzoid for being here with us today in doing the commentary. If you guys love what they did, uh, just give them a shout out in the chat and uh, go follow them on their uh, YouTube channel or social media uh, in there. Um, last but not least, uh, yeah, I'm about to cry. That was so good. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no, I don't know where you've been. <laughs> okay, what happened in Vegas? Stay in Vegas, and I think it's time to cut the stream. Thank you guys for watching. We're gonna find you in the next few days, and enjoy your happy 2017 years. Bye bye. Bye bye.
Have a great one, Big guys. shout out to all the crew and volunteers that came here to help, all the people that came for CES, especially to go see that event. That is highly appreciated. We spent a lot of time in that. Thank you very much. I We told that to you guys here in person, but I want to do it again on the live. Thank you for stopping by and making this event a success. Have a great evening. Have a great hey, evening, hey. guys. Bye. You too, Julius.